Hi gang, Ken from Four Seasons Antiques and Collectibles, how are you doing? Here's some items I sold recently, I know I had some of these on my last uh, video, but I just wanted to show what I've been selling out of it. Some stuff's more recently than others, um, but tons of stuff moving. Uh, haven't been pushing it too hard, uh, but starting to get some stuff on Craigslist and that. Uh, so we've got lots of stuff for you to check out. So check it all out, hope you enjoy it. Um, had a huge weekend of picking and uh, lots of great stuff so it's a long video so I hope you enjoy it watch it and let me know what you use. Hi gang it's Ken from Four Seasons Antiques and Collectibles how's everyone doing tonight we seem to have problems with this stupid camera freezing again but we'll do what we can because we got lots to show you it's been a crazy day garage sailing and we got lots of great stuff so hopefully We'll be able to get through it, and it's not going to take forever. Okay, so first piece, paid fifty cents for it. It's a wicker spice rack thing. You know what? I'll put five bucks on it, fix it up a little bit. We'll be good to go. Bag of jewelry. Again, nothing special, but we got a little cap pendant. We have uh, some roses, a little flashy thing. Uh, no, there's the cat pendant. Uh, this is kind of cute. This is a uh, Canada native slipper kind of thing. Oh, I never get my camera right. There we go. Um, so I paid 50 cents for the bag. Make easily 10 bucks on that. Got a bag full of post hockey cards here. Dollar each, or a dollar for the bag. Should be able to sell those 50 cents each. Got a goalie's glove. Paid two bucks for it. Again, made the mistake of not looking close and got stuck with a piece of crap. So hopefully I'll be able to put that in my garage sale and maybe get my money back. Uh, same thing, I paid five bucks for a pair of uh, goalie pads. Didn't notice they were all duct taped on one side. So again, hopefully I'll make my money out of that. Um, so those are a couple bad buys. Not every buy I make is good. Got a set of, I believe it's 24 glasses. 22 glasses, the red ones with the what, clear base, four different sizes, paid three bucks for them all. That was a steal. I also got a bunch of these, four of these, which I use at my other store where I sell milkshakes and sundaes, so I'm hoping to sell these off for two, three bucks a piece. Didn't pay anywhere near that over there. This is a neat piece. Um, it is Steelworkers Union Center. It's a Paul Cremation, um, November 25th, 1965, Sudbury, Ontario. Um, they got a little bit of paint on here, I didn't notice, but uh, even still, I think I can get uh, five bucks out of that. I paid maybe a dollar for it. Um, Ten cents. Got uh, people in their tape. Don't you hate that? They always cover everything with tape. Tape, 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 tape. But you know what? It's one of those magnifying glasses. I can either sell it for five bucks or I can keep it and use it for the stuff I can't see. Because we all know as we get older, we can see less and less. And if you don't have that problem yet, you will. I'm doing pretty good in that area, but my optometrist keeps telling me I'm going to have to wear glasses. Pick this up today. It's um, not signed on the bottom, but I'm pretty sure based on the colors, and the little looping in the handle here, it's a piece of Fiesta wear. It cost me maybe five, ten cents. No big deal. Again, wooden handle kitchen utensils. Usually if I'm lucky, I'll get two to three bucks for those. Um, I saw these on somewhere. I picked up, I think, two or three of these today. Again, if I can get them for under a buck, I think I'm going to do okay with those. Blowing glass, one of my favorites. This guy isn't signed, unfortunately, but still didn't pay a lot for it. Should be able to get easily ten to fifteen dollars for that. Um, the, a Nintendo game and a Super Nintendo game, twenty-five cents each. Those are some good deals. And, and again, it's probably not big name games, but uh, should be easily be able to double, triple, or quadruple my money on those. Um, Heroes Season 1 uh, DVD set. 
uh, looks complete. Um, paid three dollars for it. Should be able to get ten to fifteen. I'm hoping for. Um, and then in bottles and jars, I got Rose Brand Sweet White Onions with the wood label and the original top on it. So I was pretty excited about that. And then I got Rosedale Sweet Pickles again with the label on it. Hard to get stuff with labels on it. So when you get it, when you can find it, you take it. Now this is Sweet Wafer Pickles. Again, Rose Brand with the bright top on it. And there's another one of the Sweet Wafer Pickle ones. Uh, this one here is Edie Smith & Sons established in Winona, Ontario. And it's embossed. You know, each one of these jars should get me anywhere from five to ten dollars. I paid a buck a piece for them. This is Bright's um, design registered. Um, not gonna say how old that one is, but it's not a new piece. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. There's thirty bucks right there. Add this in forty-five. Um, Fifty. 60 if I get 10 bucks for that and you know I've already that that covers everything I spent at that garage sale um, so also the garage sale I got the the wicker thing there I got the jewelry there I got the hockey pads which ended up being scrap but I also got two chairs now one of them is broken and missing a rail which is unfortunate I got this one I'm sitting on. I don't know if you can see it here. I'll try and get a good shot of it. And it's a pretty nice chair. You know, I should be able to put $35, $45 on it. Now, typically when I go out buying, uh, I try to get a little more than $45 worth out of my garage sales as profit. So, what else did I get at that garage sale? Well, also at that garage sale, I got this Bosch stand. Now it's missing the C here, but it has everything else. It's a nice slidey, um, has some nice little decals here. So I think if I clean this up, I'll probably be able to put it out at maybe 20 bucks if I'm lucky. So 20 plus the 30 I'll get from the chair, that should be a $50 profit. So I should almost double my money on that deal. So what else did I get this week? Well. I hit another, oh wait, yeah, I hit another grad shell, and we did well in the toy department. So I got the Star Wars figurines group here. So I got this one. Do, 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 I got this guy here with all the hanging pieces, and it slides back and forth, and all those kind of great things. So that one's kind of cool. two little guys here and this one oh there's two there as you can see um, and then I got this guy here this whole setup here with all the little planes and that and then I got a bag full of toys so I paid five bucks for all that looking online I think that's gonna probably be in the Thirty to forty dollar range, so I really can't complain. So what else did I get at that particular garage sale? Well, that exact same garage sale I got the vintage Hot Wheels service station. Now it's not in mint condition; uh, it'll need some cleaning up. However, uh, I do have a guy in town. Was a big Hot Wheels collector, so if he doesn't have this already, you know I can easily get maybe ten bucks. Because I paid five for it, so we're gonna try to ten. Whoops, oh, I'm breaking my my station here. Um, I'm trying to do this in order of where I got things or how I got things. So bear with me. Um, so also in the toy place, I got Fisher Price school set. 
with all the cards and the letters in the back down below in good shape so this is all pretty good shape paid five bucks for that I got um, No, I didn't get that there. Ugh. I got this guy here. Another Fisher Pricer. Knowing one as we were kids. Knowing our parents with, I'm sure. Fisher Price toys. Put together. I'm thinking I'm missing a ring or two. But, again, not a bad deal. All, I think those two items were 50 cents each. Now, this is the Fisher Price medical kit. I always see the kit, but never complete inside this one's complete again it's a little dirty but I paid five bucks for it so I think I'm okay I think I'm price it ten fifteen dollars probably make it okay same garage sale I got these little two dollars here not sure who they are I got a couple of them got a strawberry patch kid doll here I am and I got somewhere in here I think there she is Miss Piggy doll. Now I was never big into the Muppets, but I don't ever recall being seeing their dolls out there. And a bunch of Barbie clothes, and there's a Barbie in there. So again, I think I paid 15 for this. I think the Strawberry Patch doll should cover my cost on that. Um, I'm telling you, the toy deal at this place was—I just kept buying more and more toys because there's so many to buy. Um, Bear with me a second here because I'm trying not to wipe out my Star Wars collection. Um, still at the same garage sale. Like I said, I spent about $70 there, uh, which is more than I would ever normally spend. But I got the Barbies and the Rockers. Uh, this is because it's Canadian, it's bilingual. This is a 1985 set. It has all the costumes it has a whole stage set up it has six barbies with it um, it has the vinyl record that goes with it to sing the barbies tune with them so it looks 100 percent complete i haven't set it up yet to be honest um, but i paid 20 bucks for that so again still that same garage sale um we got oh like I said, it was crazy to grab so I got tons of stuff. It's unbelievable what I got out of there. So again, same garage sale. We got the Fisher Price. Again, a little damage on the corner, but I paid five bucks for it. It's the original Fisher Price Park and Service Station. Um, the pile's getting down there, guys. I'm almost done from this one garage sale. Okay, so I got the Fisher Price Clubhouse. Whoops, dropped one of my guys. Uh, what makes this interesting is it's the Sesame Street one. So there's Ernie in here, and I saw uh, the vampire, Count Dracula. So, again, five bucks. It needs to be clean. I'm not going to say it's in good condition. Uh, I think that one's actually cracked. But for what I paid for it, it's a bargain. Okay, now also there again this is all the same place I got the Fisher Price camper and the hitch is broken unfortunately with the little truck so this is 79 Fisher Price that was it. I got the Fisher Price police car motorcycle police helicopter unfortunately missing the blades there. So I spent seventy dollars in total at this place. Um, I got the fishing price boat, Fisher Price swing set, Fisher Price lawn chairs, Fisher Price little cars. So that was the majority of what I got out of that particular garage sale. except for what else is in this box. Now, 70 bucks for everything I paid, I expect to come out 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 
70, 80, 90, 100. We'll say $100 on that. This here is my profit. This box right here. Oh, a couple more official price cards. Tonkas. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. With the trailer. Another big blue one. At six. Seven, the military truck. Tonka wagon. Oops, running out of room for my stuff here on my computer. Hopefully it's fine. Tonka dune buggy. Little Tonka yellow plastic truck. my tonkas. So at two bucks a piece we'll say two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two dollars. Profit. Because you and I know we're not going to have problems selling Tonka. Okay. Plastic car. I can't see a make on it yet because it's pretty dirty. But guaranteed, it's older. And a pile of uh, Hot Wheels in here. Which, again, I haven't checked for red lines or not because I know that's the big thing to be looking for when you're looking at vintage Hot Wheels is red line again I don't know I just kind of at five cents a piece you know you don't really worry too much whether the red lines or not and again I got a guy that collects them so he's going to be in here and he'll go to my box um, but I got one of these guys I don't know if you can see that um, here we go. Looks like Chee Chee Bang Bang maybe. I don't think he's a Hot Wheels. Uh, most of this stuff is Hot Wheels. Oh, got some Corgis. A couple Corgis in here also. That's true. I thought about that. Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels, Corgis. This is the one. The other one here. This is a USA guy. A little buggy. I'm not sure if they're worth lots. Um, but, you know, this is a matchbox, but it's an earlier matchbox, I think. Just by, I'm looking at construction and how these are made. Um, Corgi Jr. And then somewhere in here I saw Lesney. I'm not sure which one exactly Lesney. Because like I said, there's so many in here. Um, so, but anyways, I got another another 20 cars in here so at uh, 50 cents each even there's another 20 dollars so that's 30 bucks profit on top of what i think i already made at that particular one so that's more good news so i think i did really well that one um so that's two garage sales i think i've made out okay um then uh, i don't know if you guys remember i did the big um Big huge pick a while back um, with the train sets, records, lots of sports memorabilia. Well, today I was there again and I got Sega Genesis with Mortal Kombat, with um, 
X Men, Sonic 2, Heady, and World's Trophy Soccer. So, one, two, three, four, five games, and a system, 10 bucks. So, that was a steal. Uh, I got a cast iron frying pan out of there. Um, this I picked up at another garage sale on the way to a storage auction today. Um, just a normal teapot, but it's very pretty. The flowers are nice on it. The coloring's nice. Paid a dollar for it. If I can't get five bucks for that, uh, I'm in trouble. Um, again, I got this at the toy place. Actually, I don't think I got that at the toy place. I think I got that where I got the old bottles and stuff. Um, but I paid a buck for it. You know, it's a wood duck that pulls along behind. And all that's a good deal. So, but back to that sportsman place, I got the Hemisphere 68 Texas World Fair tray. I got uh, an Ela Fur card kind of sign. Uh, what else do you do? Oh, oh, also, the toy place I went to, um, I got Baboon. No, this is the same place I got. I paid five bucks for that. I'm trying to center it here. But it's a light up sign if it works. You know, I could be talking 20, 25 bucks for that easily. Um, so, yeah, so back to here. The sports one. I got a Toronto pennant. I got a Montreal Expo pennant. A Mighty Duck pennant. And a 88 Calgary Olympics pennant. So, again, a few bucks in sports memorabilia. Can't complain about that. I got Wish We Were Here Postcard Perfect Day frame 17th at Sawgrass. Um, I'd have to look up to see who the winner was that year. But again, I was at that sports place and I didn't pay much for this stuff. You're looking at maybe, I think I took out 20 bucks and got all that stuff over there. Um, with that, I also got, um, they had these. I didn't see what this one was. Oh, I got all the pennants. All the pennants and the pennant holders. I got two packages of those in there. So that was good. I got... And that's what happens, you know. You go to a state, you clean it out. Uh, All-star sheet from Frosted Flakes. Um, Stand-up sheets. You can put all the Frosted Flake cards in there. So post cereal cards. I uh, got two of those. Or is this another one of those pennant ones? No, there's another one of those all-star ones. Uh, this one has the pennants also. Oh, and I got some North Bay Centennial stuff. I think that might be uh, with the hatchers on that poster. I'll have to look. But again, that's all stuff that, you know what? Five, ten bucks is what I paid for it. At that same grad show, I got a local Sturgeon Hotel. Love portion slow comfortable screw slow gin southern comfort vodka orange juice sturgeon falls ontario now what's neat about that is the sturgeon hotel is burnt down in the 80s so that's still kicking around from the 80s so that's pretty cool um, also today i picked up i think four of these they're the recalled uh cups from uh mcdonald's for shrek got a bunch of those uh, pay 25 cents for these glasses. I actually think they're safety glasses. Um, but the price was right, so I got those. Um, like I said, I got so much stuff today. I'm going to have to move around now because uh, I can't get to everything I bought. I'll show you. Um, so, the game where I got the sportswear, I got the Labatt's Blue with the. Uh, Sharks on it. I got a couple with Chicago with them making the playoffs. I might be able to sell those. I got a planter's peanut bowl, which is kind of neat because I have a cookie jar now and something else so I can do a whole little planter's display. I picked up um, General Electric uh, walkie talkie set from probably the 70s when we were kids. Why they go that, back that far? I don't know. Yeah, March 77. So we'll check those out. I got some Harry Potter cards. I got a uh, Budweiser Stanley Cup. Uh, New 
York Islanders. Uh, a Radio Shack decimal fractional yard footage calculator. Uh, and it's working. Got some Harry Potter cards. I got a Canadian flag. Uh, in mint condition. You know. Whoops. Don't show it that way, Ken. I'll get myself in trouble. Don't ever want to show a flag upside down or let it touch the ground. Those are the important things. There we go. Canadian flag. You know. So I got lots of neat stuff. Um, here's the other chair I picked up. There are other two chairs. I got two like this one. Uh, I paid four and five dollars for those. Those were a good deal. Um, whoops. Ten cents a piece on the uh, but look to be Fire King mugs. I presume they were Fire King. I don't know if you can see them. There you go. Um, I don't see them on the bottom. Now these pictures, another golf one. This is uh, Augusta the 12th, Jim Harrington. Uh, paid two bucks for that one. Uh, this looks like a watercolor someone did. Cam 2002. Uh, again, two bucks for that one. Little country scenes or animal scenes. This is by Lisa Calvert, wildlife artist. Two bucks for that one. Uh, this one's a sign piece by Luke Relton called Under the Pine. Again, uh, it's a Ducks Unlimited piece, but again, I only paid two dollars for it. Something that I found out recently uh, from my own customers here at my store is. What I thought was junk originally is uh, these willow trees. Now I don't know if you guys have seen these. Um, called willow trees, um, and I was told they go for fifteen to twenty-five dollars a piece for my customers. Um, I picked up five pieces today for ten bucks. Um, two tall ones and three small ones. I'm hoping to get somewhere in the neighborhood of thirty dollars. But you know what? The will tree, angels of learning. Oops. Try and show you the bottom here. Get centered. There you go. They're a little different. But you know what? I have a few iron price those for five bucks each, and I will make it okay. I picked up a bunch of sports books today. Uh, because I'm on the sports team, I think the guys doing the man's room, whatever have you. If I can get some money out of those, I'll be good. Whoops, sorry, you can't really see me. I try to put some of my stuff back as I go along. The best buy of the day, the best. Go into this gentleman's garage, has a couple pieces for sale. These guys, two drugs, one's bigger, one's smaller. Here, I'll back up a bit. Five bucks for the pair. You know, I'm hoping to get $40, $50 out of those two. I got a nice Coleman lamp. I'm sure everyone's got the Coleman lamp going. Uh, then, well, uh, this one missing the uh, lamp piece, but it, the rest of it's in mint condition. I don't know the year on this one. I think it's a much newer one than the average one. It's a model 635, but I probably have a glass here for it. What's nice also with this one is I have the carrying case. Paid $5 for that today at a garage sale. So, again, stoked about that. That's Probably a twenty dollar lamp and once I get it fixed up. Let me get my chair back in here because I'm getting out of breath because I have too much stuff and dumping all over the place. So yeah. So I picked up uh, some books, hardcovers, brand new condition, originally retailed at about seventeen bucks a piece. I got this soft cover one. And I could have bought all kinds of books today. Um, but to be honest, I just have I have a box sitting here that I haven't even got to yet. I picked up this is kind of neat. It's a Hot Wheels kind of race game, but in French. Um, again, I have a Hot Wheels collector. I think he's going to jump all over. It's going to put 10, 15 bucks on that, and we'll see how I do. I think I'll do well. I got the Hot Wheels Monster Launcher again. 
looks like to be working at. I unfortunately am missing one of the handles on it, but I got it for free where I got the table and the pictures and everything. And I think this monster truck, even though it's on a Hot Wheels, um, might go with it. If it doesn't, oh well, I got it for free. I'm not going to complain. Um, and that same garage sale, I pick up the little cars uh, control thing. They're still fairly popular cars, guys. Um, throw a battery in, get that guy working. Frying pan, another great item. They always sell frying pans. So overall today, I spent probably close to $200. Um, rough estimate what I'm going to get in return. Uh, well, we said 100 on the Fisher Price stuff for that garage sale. Another 30 in the cars, so that's 130. The jugs, we're going to go uh, conservatively, we'll say 50 for the pair. It's 180. 10 for the frying pan is 190. 10 for the uh, Coleman lamp is 200. Painting, say 30 bucks, that's 230. Uh, the planters, uh, bowl, and the plastic glasses, and the McDonald's recall glasses. We're going to add another 10. Uh, add the Sega game for 25. The bloom for 25. The pennants and other hockey stuff for 25. The Bosch and um, bottles there. Another $30, $40. Uh, the red stuff I got. We're talking... Uh, you know, 20, 30 bucks there. We're talking all the Star Wars stuff, 20, 30 dollars. Um, so, you know, overall, and I'm not taking this lightly, but I'm probably going to be in about three, four hundred dollar range. Um, hopefully closer to four, maybe even more once I get it all figured out down to the last detail. But the difference between this and what I picked last week was, last week was big stuff. And I know um, there's been some talk lately, and, and even I was involved in it, regarding buying coffee mugs, uh, baseball caps, and, and buying things for 10 cents and trying to make three bucks. The big difference for me is, I think, for example, this duck. I paid 50 cents for the duck. It's made in Quebec. It says on the bottom. It's not old. I'm not going to get a ton of money. I might get five bucks out of it. But I'm selling it at my store. I'm not going to try putting this online. I'm not going to waste my time online with that. So that's, you know, one of those things that we're not going to pay a lot for. You know, this here, this Texas World Fair tray, I paid buck two bucks this is something I'll put online and hope to score ten fifteen dollars off you know the Sega Genesis the Bosch display case those are things these Fisher Price toys I'll look them up online if they're getting big bucks online darn right I'll try them online but I just I think we have to remember when we're looking at small items you need to make sure you have an outlet for them and not spend hours looking this stuff up so again i may have made some bad buys today uh, again the hockey equipment there's seven bucks gone not even gonna talk about it fisher price stuff i might have made a bad mistake but i'm hoping that with the the boom sign and the hot wheels i got and the tonkas that you know what, if I did make a bad mistake and I can only get my five bucks a piece back for the Fisher Price stuff, that I should at least be able to recoup something there. Oops, sorry, I have my thing on a lopsy turvy table. That's what it is. Um, the Star Wars stuff, again, I did pay a lot. Excuse me. I paid five bucks for everything. So if I get 20 for it, it's not a bad buy for me. 
Um, if I sell it individually or online, I might be able to get $30, $35, but I'm not going to worry about the nickel and dime stuff. So let's talk storage wars. Today in Sturgeon, we had our another storage war, um, or storage auctions, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it wasn't great. They had, uh, you know, this is one of those storage auctions that you always wonder where the stuff came from. Uh, for example, today you had three units full of office furniture, school stuff. So, you know what? It didn't go for big money. I probably would have bought one that was filled with chairs had I had room to store it. It went from 35 bucks, easily probably 200 300 dollars worth of chairs in there, but I just didn't have room. Uh, I got there late. I thought it was 11:30. It was at 11, so that caused me a bit to miss two units. Yeah, two units go up for auction. I got to look one at one again. It was all desks. Oop. Again, there wasn't much in there I wanted, uh, but one of the big guys in town with a lot of money, uh, he dropped 20 bucks on it. He ended up with it. Uh, guy paid 370 for a unit, uh, posted some kind of medical machine he got out of it, uh, claiming it retails at about $5,000. So if that's the case, uh, he can get anywhere near the $5,000 for, for that machine. He's going to be doing pretty well on that locker. locker so good for him. He deserves it. Um, so yeah, so I think I had a successful day picking. Uh, you know, was it my best one? Did I get a lot of big ticket items? No, but I, you know what? This is how I started. This is how I started collecting. This is how I started getting into the business originally. Was just buying small stuff at garage sales. And to be honest, I looked for coffee mugs today. I thought I had a winner. I thought I, I had found myself a uh, Starbucks. Christmas mug, but unfortunately it was chipped all over the place and I just didn't want to take a shot at it. I looked for snapback hats, thought I had a couple, but they were dirty and, and I wasn't sure about the, uh, the content on the front. Because I don't know hats enough. Sorry, I don't mean to be on any time. So, those are things that were there. I, I might have been able to pick them up, make a couple dollars. But I didn't see anything really great in those. So I stuck to what I knew. I knew toys. I know Star Wars and Barbie are always going to do well. I know that Hot Wheels, Tonkas, um, Fisher Price, always going to be big money. Well, not big money, sorry. But they're always going to do well and you're always going to be able to flip them. Sports stuff, again, always does well. Um, and then the advertising pieces get some good ones you always do well with them but i'd just like to thank everyone for coming out i hope you enjoyed the video uh like i said it's a little longer but again that's just today's grad sale that's all i did today um like i said i probably spent about around 200 dollars. my wife did buy a wicker set for 30 bucks but uh again that was something she got i passed on a few things and like i said the storage units were a bust for me didn't get anything this time Hopefully next time I will. Uh, so everyone, keep uh, grinding, keep going out of there. A uh, couple things I sold. I don't know if I talked to you about uh, the camera lot I got. Um, when I got all the records and every and train sets, I got some cameras. Um, I posted them as a lot for 300 bucks. I, uh, and then I had people ask to buy individual ones. So far, I've sold uh, two different cameras out of the lot, and I've made 85 dollars for so far. So, I think that's pretty sweet. I'm going to keep moving along. I had them, there's another, they're interested in my 8mm projector for about 35 So if I can get that out of there, if I can get 100 to $200 out of the cameras um, in this short of time, quite happy with that. Selling a lot of smalls in the store. Uh, no big ticket items moving. Uh, but I did get on Kijiji this week and started posting some of the big stuff because you know why? I gotta hustle and get my game, step up my game, because I got way too much stuff. So next week we're having a garage sale, but guess what? I'll be out picking again, uh, just like I always do. Uh, hopefully my wife will cover the garage sale for a little bit while I do some serious picking. So you guys all have a good weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you later.
thanks for watching make sure you uh, comment at the bottom thanks well gang it's a long video I uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, make sure to uh, hit the comment and the like button and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already thanks a lot for watching got another video probably coming up this week is uh, I went out today and got all kinds of stuff again um, hopefully I'll pick it up later this week um, so check it out uh, check out uh, our YouTube page and everything else so hope to see you